At the Barn, brought to you by Ontario Racing and OLG. I'm Jordan Freeman, and I'm classified as a hot walker, but I do a bit of it all here at Woodbine. A little bit of grooming, a little bit of walking, a little bit of bedding. I work for Willie Armada. I, when I started out here, I worked for Darwin Banak, worked for him for a little while, and then I uh, got a job offer from Willie, and it's been going real well ever since. True love of horses probably started how most people who get into horses get into horses, well, at least most men. It started with a girl. And all this girl did was horseback ride. So then I found out what stable she rides at. It was literally 15 minutes from my house. So I started going there and watching it. And I thought, well, this looks easy. And so fast forward the next year, I started taking a lesson or two. And then when it was grade 10, my parents gave me probably the best birthday gift they could ever give me. And probably the biggest mistake of their lives. Uh, they sent me to a riding camp, an overnight riding camp in Uxbridge. It's no longer around, but it was called New Era Farms. And from the moment I got on a horse there and from the moment I got there, I was just, I was hooked. Because there's, there's no feeling like being able to bond with a horse, being able to bond with an animal and building that partnership. From that point on, I just, I knew that I had to get into riding and I knew that I wanted to be a jumper. For the last six or seven years, I've been riding as a jumper and it's been, it's been really cool. I mean, right now I'm just at cross trails, but I'm hoping to get to the big jump soon. I recently graduated from Humber College for radio broadcasting. It's been hard to get a job in radio. So I thought, why not try and get a job with horses, do something that I love. And I had posted in a number of Facebook groups saying that I was looking for a job with horses and Erica Smolowski, who works over there, she reached out to me, she said, we have a groom's position. Well, I'm not very experienced at working with horses. I've only ridden them. So I wasn't really able to do that job, but they were training me to uh, do hot walking and I walked a few of their race horses, largely just the pony, but um, they also had me doing some of the groom's jobs, you know, picking out the stalls, batting them, brushing the horses, bathing them. You know, so I kind of got to learn it all and now I'm really just honing in on my hot walking skills. But, I mean, ideally I would like to learn a bit of everything because, I mean, of value is the person who can do it all. I've been coming to the track for years with my family. I had one of the coolest moments I would say of my life here. In 2010, I was here for the Queen's Plate and I actually got to give the Queen flowers. My mother wouldn't let my brother come with me because she, I guess, didn't trust me or she, she actually, she was quoted as saying, she's, he's either gonna meet the queen or get arrested trying. I figured the latter was gonna be true, but it turns out that it wasn't. So I said, my brother's gonna be so upset that I got to meet you and he didn't, and I'm gonna bring him back later. And so sure enough, I brought my brother back. And what happened there was he actually got to stand on the red carpet and give her the flowers and shake her hand. And Prince, Prince Philip actually patted him on the back, which was wild. And it was, one of the, definitely one of the biggest thrills of my life. I'm not sure if I'll always have horse racing because when I get a job in radio, uh, it's gotta be that full time, but I will always have a space for horses in my life. Uh, I'm always gonna try to keep up with my riding or at least going and visiting horses. And you know what, when I, when I get time off, absolutely I'll be out here because I'm confident that there will always be a job for someone like me.